So in typical Razer fashion, they have once again expanded their repertoire of mice. Uh, we have not one, not two, but two new mice from Razer. We have the Basilisk version two, as well as the Death Adder version two. Now I'm gonna focus this video on the Death Adder because this is like, this was my very first gaming mouse. Not this one, but the one from like 2006 or whatever. This is an extremely popular mouse. This shape has been like, this has been in so many people's hands. I think they sold 10 million mice over the years. I actually don't know why they call this one version two. They've sold so many and so many iterations and variations of this thing. It's like probably version 17 at this point, but it is called version two. And they've changed a whole bunch of stuff. Like they've changed the cables, the sensors, the switches, we'll get into it. But the one thing that is like the most unique change to this iteration, and maybe this is why they're calling it version two, is the shape has been slightly tweaked. All the earlier versions of Death Adders have had this area on the right hand side of the mouse, kind of like the top right, where your fingers rest, that just, it flared out in a particular way that was uncomfortable for people that had smaller hands. This new version two, they've, They've just shaped it slightly different. It doesn't flare out as wide as it used to. Uh, and it's just like a, it's a nicer feel in most hands. Now, I think people that have giant hands won't notice it, or they may even prefer the older style, but I think the average hand size, you'll appreciate this slight adjustment to the shape of the mouse. But the overall design and ergonomic fit of the Death Adder remains unchanged. And I think it's a good thing. There's a reason why there's 10 million of these things sold. Uh, it is a very popular design. So they've changed a couple other things. The sensor has been upgraded to the new optical sensor, the Focus Plus from Razer. I think it's actually the best sensor on the market right now, better than anything that Logitech has. We've seen it on the Viper Ultimate, as well as some new switches. These are optical switches now. Uh, they have new feet, PTFE material, very slick, very smooth, and the cable. It's also this new speed flex material. We've seen this on basically all the 2019 mice that Razer put out, and this has all been put into their death adder and they did all of this while reducing the weight of this mouse it's now an 82 gram mouse the last iteration of the death adder was i think over 100 grams that was probably my personal reason as to why i switched off of the death adders they were just getting heavier and in like 2018 when lighter mice were being introduced i didn't like that whole heavy mouse feel especially for first person shooters so i switched off of it primarily because of the weight and i don't know if i'll switch back to this because i do like I like the Viper, the other mouse that Razer makes, but if you were someone that was drawn to its shape and its size, and you just like the ergonomic feel of a Death Adder, this is a really nice update. They've also added onboard memory. So one of the things I've always disliked about basically every Razer product is their software. They run this thing called Synapse and it is, it's big, it feels clunky, and honestly, it can be really buggy sometimes. I do not like installing any of their software on any of my things, not their laptops, certainly not for their mice. And because this thing now has onboard memory, you can just install it once, set up your colors, set up your button configurations, your DPI settings, and just delete that thing from your system forever because you just store all your settings onto the mouse and you're good to go. Uh, if you ever wanna adjust that stuff in the future, you'd have to do it all over again, but just keeping Synapse on your system is, I hate that thing. Uh, so who is this mouse for? Well, for people that enjoyed the Death Adder ergonomics, this is an easy upgrade. Like uh, if you have an older one that's broken or about to die, nice pickup. But for people that want a lighter mouse that is shaped, but you didn't want the honeycomb pattern and you also like the features that Razer provides on their mice, this is definitely a good thing to check out. Uh, the Basilisk, so this is, it has the same kind of internal hardware in terms of like the sensor, the switches, the cables, the PTFE feet on the bottom. It's also been updated, but I've never been drawn to the shape of the Basilisk. This is most similar to the Logitech G502. It's for people that like that design aesthetic and that ergonomic fit, but it's just never been for me. I've always been more of an ambidextrous mouse person or the old school death outer feel, but they've both been updated. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.